Hello gamers, it is time for another episode of Let's Play The Repopulation. Hello gamers, I am Tigwick and we are back in the repopulation again. It's been about maybe about a week now, maybe you've been playing, you kind of get back into the game a bit. And maybe you're still trying to figure out uh, what you were doing beforehand. Maybe you're brand new to it, this is your first time picking up the series and you're kind of at the, the middle point here now where we can maybe do a bit of a refresher on uh, some hotkeys and some places to look up crafting and the community and just kind of get back into what makes up the repopulation so uh here we are just sitting around in set falls again um you know maybe maybe you're you know you're back in and you log back in and you're like great i have my character i have all my crap i have you know my stuff in my bank what was i doing before well take a look at your quests maybe those help kind of remind you what you might have been starting to try and do what things you were looking at working towards what goals you may have set for yourself Maybe you were trying to construct the certain um, components you need to craft something specific to work your way towards handing that in for one of these quests. Maybe you were working with your nation before to, to fulfill um, you know, work orders, or maybe you were just exploring or trying to fill up a shop or building a house or any of those things, right? Um, so if you want to bring up your nation screen, that is the N key, and I am here in Rogue, Rogue Holdings, our Rogue Nation. And... Uh, we have all of our, you know, you can look at the, the people that are in the nation on the nation's uh, screen there, the, the structures that we own, the alliances we have, and the, the, uh, our, our, our standing with the other, uh, the other um, uh, nations, various settings, bank, our cities. So if you have a, a city we can go to, this is where you'd find it here. And if you did, perhaps that's where you had stuff. Right, so uh, this is a good way to kind of figure out if you still had some property in in the the alliance or the uh, the nation city. Sorry, H brings up your housing, so you can find your own instant uh, instant housing plot. Um, if you own one somewhere, you can see it in the list here, and then you can go and track that down. And maybe you had stuff there going on, right? So there's a, a way to kind of trigger your brain, see what's going on again. Um, one thing you can do is uh, is check out the forums, right? So if we flip out to the, uh, the forums here really quickly. Bloop. There we go. And now we are on the forums here, so you know maybe maybe you were uh, under the gameplay general. You know you're you're talking to your friends, and maybe you had some posts going on in here, and something reminded you like, oh yeah, I wanted to go check out that place that so and so mentioned. Uh, you know, there's this blood fang, blood fang cave uh, that uh, the Tan Staff Alliance is looking for. Uh, look, they they went and did the Blood Fang Cave raid. That's pretty cool, right? They did a YouTube video about the whole thing and posted it up on the forum. So maybe the forums, maybe you hung out on there. Remember, this is all at the repopulation.com slash forums. We can get to that from the website, which is just the repopulation.com. It's not too bad. That's pretty easy to do, right? These guys, Tan Staffel, they're pretty cool, right? The uh, There ain't no such thing as a free lunch. I don't know if you know the... Uh, that is a Robert C. Heinlein uh, reference, and uh, they are kind of an old school uh, nation. They've been around since uh, early, early uh, alpha, long around the time that I was playing. I remember seeing these guys around, and they are uh, pretty popular. So if you're looking for a good, a good nation, I think Tan Staffel is pretty friendly. Um, I mean, Rogue Holdings, we're always looking for more as well. There's the, there's the Looking for Nation thread here on the forums, which you may actually want to check out. Um, it is hopefully being updated again. Let me just see if there is... Uh, what's the current post that we're up to here? Number third page with the bottom of here. We have current posts from late... Oh, there we go. We have a post from uh, Sunday, March 12, 2017. There you go. So... Uh, I mean, I know that is like, you know, three weeks ago or something like that, but that's still a more recent post on the Looking for Nation. So we have current contact. I know the game is just coming back, guys. So you have to understand, like, this is, um, it, there's, it's going to be slow to build up the community on the forums again and get people posting again properly because the, the game is there now. There is a community to center around. There is stuff to talk about and to experience again. But people have been drifting off to playing other games and doing other things and living their lives, and that's just how it works, right? So we have have to kind of let people know that the forums are, are still here and the game is now back um, so you can come back and kind of um, 
discuss and talk about stuff even when you're maybe at work and uh, can't play the game right then and there you can still theorize with your friends on the forums and find all sorts of cool information here like for instance looking for nation and the the, the raids and you know other guilds that are looking for people to, to join in uh asking for help on buying it all you know i mean this is just this and this is only the uh, gameplay general right of course if you drill into the various nation ones here the fpr you'll find the uh perhaps the nations that are siding with a certain side so if you're if you're more into the role play of the game you want to pick a side uh you can you can pick a custom nation that is not just owen or fpr the ones that side with them the, the ones that are allied with them perhaps um, and there's off top. The, the forums are what you'd expect. The usual forums. You have off topic. You've got specific subcategories of stuff you can talk about, and and they're here again, guys. Like they're they're active. We need to kind of bring everybody back to actually get on here. So again, the repopulation.com/forums. Very very useful resource. Everybody's here, or at least should be here, and therefore you can um, get uh, answers to your questions on various uh, specific aspects of the game. Right. So perhaps you figured out that. Uh, the uh the thing you wanted to do was certain kind of crafting right and so you you know you run over to the crafting place here it's a little dark isn't it it's a little spooky I run into the crafting place and uh so you know you run up to the crafting table and you're like oh yeah i was i was gonna build this cool like uh i was gonna uh, I'm gonna build this like uh sniper rifle yeah so let's let's bring up my old recipe book here and uh yeah, I don't know where to begin. Okay, so when you get to this point, if you recall, earlier when uh, the game was in the alpha before it went offline, there was a website called Craft Map. That website still exists, and it's still fantastic. So let's flip out to Craft Map. This is the uh, this is the other site I want to show you here. This is Craft Map. It is a e n a dot a t slash Craft Map. Um, the, it's up there at the top. I can also, I'll put the links in the bottom in the description. Don't worry. I will make it available. Craft map is your, your guide to finding out exactly how to get to the crafting pattern or the crafting product that you want to make. So if I want to make a sniper rifle, say I want to make a basic sniper rifle, I click on that here and it tells me everything from the beginning that I have to build to make the various pieces that have to go into the final piece. This is the final result, the basic sniper rifle right here in the middle. This is the final result, right? Along the right, on the first column to the right, we have the major ingredients. These are the individual components that make up the final product. These major ingredients are made up of these minor ingredients. Each of these is sort of slotted together. You can see that these five here um, make up the projectile trigger assembly. These two make up the stock assembly. These four or five make up the composite lathe, and so on, right? So, and then if you need to know how to make these individual parts, you can click on the individual recipes, these, the, the, the minor parts here, like the spring, to find out how you make a spring. The sub-ingredients for a spring, you need melosificic cluster. Yes, that's what I'm, we're just going to call that cluster. Calibrite ore, and then you refine that to make an alumerite bar. Okay, great. That's how you get your alumerite bar. Then you need a, to buy a spring pattern, obviously, and then you need to pick up some sort of ore and uh, some flux to make a welding rod. You put all these things together to make a spring in the metalworking simple uh, firearm component fabrication recipe, right? So it tells you every step along the way how to get to what you're going to get to so that you know beforehand what things you're going to have to invest in and pick up before you even start going right back into your crafting. So if you remember, this site was very useful. It is still just as useful, and it is here, and it's very relevant. It's very, very relevant. I use this site uh, on a daily basis because how else are you going to figure out exactly how many bars of what you need to make this many of this? If you know that this takes you know, one of this and one of this, um, and and you know you can put aside 500 of these to make this many of these bars, which drill down into 250 of these components, which then make a hundred of these pieces, which then give me 50 of the you know the the uh, D quality final result that goes into a sniper rifle, and and it helps you get all the way there without having to even be in the game and go through the clumsy process of clicking through the recipe and finding out what you're missing and looking up in the game database to find out what little piece goes where and where that piece can be refined and where you can find that craft map lays all that out in an intuitive 
mm, fashion of some sort here, which basically you can kind of pick it up, right? I mean, it is intuitive. You can look at this and understand what it's trying to tell you, and you can click on various aspects and figure out exactly what it just did. Okay, that is now making this piece the sort of final result that I'm talking about. The projectile trigger here is now what it assumes I want to make as a final result. So on the right, it's going to ingre uh, list the major ingredients and on the right further, it's going to list the minor ingredients to make that up. Same process for every piece I click on. And then I can just work my way up to make the thing that I finally want to make, which for instance is the basic sniper rifle here. So um, craft map is, is one of my favorites. I mean, you, you cannot go wrong with craft map. It will make your crafting life so much easier. Um, I think that's great for now. Let's move on in the next video. If you like the content, guys, please do hit the like button below. And if you want to see more of this, hit subscribe. I will be putting out videos hopefully every week. Uh, join me in the repopulation. I am on the Kajel uh, East Coast US server. I am Tigwick, and I will see you in the next video. See you around.